I'm Gada Durgam, and today we're going to learn how to replace sod. Having a green lawn is every homeowner's dream. We often struggle in certain areas of our yard where grass just won't grow. So it's very important to determine why the reason is. Check your pH level, make sure that there's not an insect or fungus problems, or if it's too much shade, as we have here with this large oak. For this area, I needed to replace my sod due to the shade. So the first thing I did is remove all existing sod. The best way to do that is by spraying your sod down with a weed killer a couple of weeks in advance. This makes it much easier to remove for, so you could prepare the area for your new sod. After we removed the sod, we brought in topsoil. It's very important that you start fresh with a new soil and start with about two to three inches. We spread the soil preparing this area for our new sod as well by using a rake and smoothing it out into a nice smooth surface. Now I always recommend that you always slope away your sod from your home towards a drainage area. If you slope it the other way, you'll end up with some foundation issues. We got this area prepared with the topsoil, as you could see, and we're ready to lay out down our sod. Sod comes in rolls or in pieces as it does here in South Florida. So I take each and every piece and place it abutting the existing sod, making sure not to leave any gaps in between. So you take each and every piece of sod and place it abutting the other, making sure not to leave any gaps in between. So when you're laying your sod, it's very important that you never overlap pieces. For instance, in this area here, I need a much smaller piece. So I'm going to place it in the hole and then I'm going to cut any access with this shovel with a very sharp point. Just like that. And remove all these access pieces. Now there are many different types of sod that's used around the nation. There are some sods that are a little bit more shade tolerant than others. For example, in this area, we utilize palmetto sod. Although there are no grasses that are totally shade proof, this tends to hold its weight when it comes to the competition. So when you're trying to create an area where there's a lot of shade, I highly recommend you use palmetto sod. So now that we've finished laying down our new sod, it's really important that you take care of it. Make sure that you water your lawn daily for the first 30 days and every other day the following 30 days. Fertilization is of utmost importance as well. So this is how you lay new sod down. I'm Gada Durgam, thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time.